Hello everyone, welcome to SAP Administration Learning Platform. In the today's vlog, we will learn about the principles of working with the HANA Studio. We know that the HANA Studio is a graphical interface. So because of that reason, it's easy to learn and easy to use. We know the use of the each and every option available in the HANA Studio. The SAP HANA Studio offer graphical interface to the users and it allow us to perform the actions on the entities of the HANA database system. So which are these entities? The entities means basically the tables and schemas, development object in the HANA repositories, database user and the roles and even the database itself. In the HANA studio we can handle multiple database connections in our case we can see that we have a two database these are isolated database that is a system db and the tenant database in some cases we can have the multiple tenant database so the upper one this is the system view and there below that these options which we see this is called the system navigator so in the system view we can see the option that is the add system for adding the database connection then this option is for the system monitoring it means if I clicked on this screen will get open and on this screen we can have all the database connections those added into HANA studio even if I want to filter it I can use the system filter option where I, I just have to simply uncheck the respective database connection and click OK so it will get removed from that so that way in one click we can monitor all the database on the one screen similarly the second option here we can see their properties in the properties we can set the refresh interval similarly in the configuration viewer we can add the you know column those we want to see in the screen so this option we have so the next option is that administration to open the administration we have to click on the respective database connection then click on the administration then it will open that respective administration for the monitoring purpose or for the analysis the next option that we have that is the SQL console after that the option that is the next option is to find the system and the rest of the option. Now let's come to the system navigator tree. So system navigator tree is the most important element for the basis HANA administrator in the SAP HANA studio. It has up to five main sub trees depending on the privilege of the respective user so the first one is that is the backup this backup node provide us access to the user interface for the manual executing reporting and the managing the database backup the next option that is the catalog so the basically catalog consists the all database objects such as the tables views procedures and users and roles are not database object in the catalog so the users and role are not the database object in the catalog all such objects always belong to the database schemas and the catalog folder provide access to the schemas and the catalog objects so this is the second option that is the catalog so if we have to see the information about the schemas tables so we have to come to the catalog so, so the next option that is the content so okay so the next is the content so basically in the content we can see the packages uh, with the hierarchies like in the public as it's a default package we can see under that that is SAP then docs and then HANA so this way if we have to access the packages that is a customized packages 
so we can access that packages under the content so next one is the data so the next one is the provisioning so basically to migrate the data from the non sap system or from the sap system to the hana database several data provisioning technologies have been developed such as the smart data access to access data directly from the tables access smart data access for the direct access to the table on the remote system slt for the real time replication in such a scenarios can be customized and control from the provisioning folder and the last one that is the security so in the security folder we will get the sub option that is the security under which the company's policies password policies auditing then data volume encryption data volume encryption saml identity provider so these options are available under the security below that we have the users so here we will get the all the users details and below that that is the roles under which we will get the all the roles information or we can create the roles in the users we can create the users in the security we can define the password policy etc so these options available in the hana studios in the system view and the system navigator this is all about the principle of working with the hana studio so if you like the video please subscribe to the channel share with your friends click on the bell icon to get the notification about the upcoming videos and finally take care bye bye